Chris, it's great to finally get a chance to talk to you. Last year I was hoping to speak with you, but you were being mobbed. When you are considered an icon, people know you from television, they know you from game shows, uh, film, everything that you've done. When you realize the impact that you have done as an actor, a voice actor, do you realize how you've affected people and making them so happy? I don't know that I have to say anything to follow that. I think that was one of the nicest introductions I've ever been given. Um, you know, when I was three years old, people would say, what do you want to be when you grow up? And with the disgust that only a three-year-old can muster, I would point to the black and white TV in the corner of the room, and I would say, well, I am an actor, so that's what I'm going to be. And so I knew it all my life, and so for me it was always about connecting the dots. And so for you to say that to me, after all these years, as I look back, that half look over my shoulder, and you remind me that I've touched people and that they smile, I go, you know what, I've had a pretty good life if at the end of the road you can say you made a lot of people smile. Is that one of the reasons why that being part of Rally for Kids, I mean this isn't your first trip doing this, you keep coming back to support. Why is that important? Well, listen. When pinball says jump, everybody says, how high on the way down? You know what I mean? It's like, he says, I, I don't think I've ever met a man with more, you know, they always say character is what happens to you when no one's looking, you know? He's a man that's just driven with character, and everybody loves him. And he has one of the most infectious smiles, he and his wife. Um, and whatever they're doing is much more important than what I was thinking of. Very true. But what is it like when you are in those vehicles driving around, you stop at a red light, and somebody looks over and they're going, hey, wait, is that? Yeah, they always say, yeah, well, you wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah, I know, huh? You host the dog show. No, I don't, <laughs> no, I know. Um, yeah, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. But it's not, it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's fun to spend four to five hours with people in a car that you've never met before, and and you get to know each other and you become a team. And I mean, those are the things that you remember and, and you celebrate it for the time that you have together and you laugh and you smile. And I kind of love that, it's kind of fun. And you know, I, I love the people. That, first of all, I love Canadians. I think they're the kindest human beings on earth. I don't know how that happened, but, uh, and especially the men, the men are gentlemen. Before you go, two very quick questions. One, any new projects coming up? Uh, quite a few. Uh, I have my one man show. Um, I'm going to have a new show on Home and Garden TV called Buy Like a Billionaire. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> um, and uh, a couple of movies that are out right now, one called uh, uh, Seven Days to Vegas, which is hysterical. Uh, it's one of my, I, I did the movie and I rarely watch what I do, but this one is a home run. Uh, seven Days to Vegas. I have my one-man show that I'm touring around the country. I've got uh, I've got uh, Chicago the Musical still on Broadway after I've done 2,000 performances now. Amazing. Amazing. I'll continue in that uh, and a lot of other things going on. Fantastic. Last question. Halloween is coming up. What is your favorite Halloween costume? You know, I went once as the West Side Highway in New York and I had a black I, I wore black tights and I had cars that I had sewn up one leg and cars that I had sewn down from there to think and there was a bit and and all the traffic stopped because it was a big accident right in the middle <laughs> my friend thank you so much for this interview have fun tonight and tomorrow and thank you for everything you've done for us you talk to you got